Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 22nd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want the access to this full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The uh, link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically fallen off a cliff in the US dollar today. So we have been rallying from 89.17 all the way up towards the 50 moving average. And then it just dropped. And at this point, the target is basically these lows. And if these lows break, which is very, very likely, then that basically means that we're going to test these previous lows back in two, that we saw back in 2018. So we haven't been this basically low since 2018. And uh, uh, the rejection here is a very clear indication that we are going to go significantly lower. We are just doing the same thing. We have been uh, rallying up towards the 20 exponential, the 50, and then just bro broken down all the way since from a very high here of 103 to 90.05 90 at this current point, at current point. So if we fall all the way down to these previous lows, which will be massive um, support, we'll probably turn around at this point. Uh, that could be the case, but there's gonna be a lot of spending from governments, the United States and the Federal Reserve and so on, and that will, uh, basically depreciate the US dollar even more. So gold will benefit, oil will benefit, commodities, precious metals, and so on, will benefit from, from this indices and, 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 so, and stocks and so on, will also benefit from a weaker dollar. So um, yes, let's look at oil. So as you can see, we are just in trading sideways. We're just continuing this, um, same move sideways. So nothing really happened today. Um, at this point, if you look at technical indicators, they are also basically everywhere. CCI is negative, the RSI is flat, stochastic is bullish, and MACD is, uh, is flat. So usually when you trade sideways, it just goes like this, and the 20 exponential will go that way. And then at some point, you will have a pop up towards the 50. That's most likely where we are going, even though it doesn't make any sense whatsoever at this point. Uh, demand in the world economy is not there at this point. Optimism is certainly there, but uh, when you have been in this big of a hole in 2020, um, it's not very difficult to create uh, a little bit of optimism or a lot of optimism. So this was vaccine news, most of it. This was stimulus news, OPEC, and now again stimulus and uh, stimulus and vaccine news. So we it will basically go a little bit higher all the time, and uh, we will get overstretched. Uh, we will get a, a price of oil that is basically way overpriced, and at some point we are going to drop five, ten dollars. Um, if it's going to be now. I doubt it. I just don't see how this is going to fall when there is so much optimism in the air. Um, probably when we get to 55 or even to 60, uh, we'll see um, major drops, similar to what we saw, for example, here. So this was one of Donald Trump's tweets, infamous tweets about Iran. Um, I remember this because I was trading it. So... Everybody thought that we were going to $90 when we were here. And then um, I think it was uh, the tweet that they were going to um, get rid of that Iran. Um, uh, well, uh, uh, they were going to uh, to uh, to uh, put sanction on Iran or or something like that. Something was kind of, I can't remember the tweet, but it just fell all the way from uh, 76 uh, all the way down to to uh, 42 in one tweet. So it can fall very, very um, suddenly. Uh, history has basically shown that. But at this point, it is just going sideways. 
And until we have a major pullback towards the 20 exponential, around 51, I would just stay away from this. I yeah, There's no point to basically entering this either with a buy or a sell. It's just a pure gamble. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas uh, has uh, pulled back today yet again to uh, 2.4566 and then rallied a little bit. And now we're trading at uh, 2.49440. Technical indicators for natural gas are looking dreadful. It is the 200 moving average that is uh, acting as major support at this point. Um, I just don't see how we are going to turn around all of a sudden here. Uh, Winter is almost over, so uh, so um, if there were to be a pop to the upside, it should have happened a long time ago. Um, that being said, it doesn't mean that we're we couldn't see a pull a, a rally up to three dollars. I just think it's more likely that we will break the two hundred moving average. Uh, both the twenty exponential and the fifty will cross at two hundred, and we'll start and continue trading underneath the two hundred moving average. It will go like this. The 50 will go that way and the 20 will go this way and then we'll trade significantly lower. So I think it's more likely to target these very lows of 1.5 than it is to target these highs at 3.5. That is, that is uh, um, I think, more likely that we'll go down here than we'll go up. But if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, we could probably see why we are running into this resistant. And it uh, is basically perfect. So we have the 38.2 is right here. That is at, um, at $2.6837. Uh, and then we have the 50. And that's where we found uh, support today. So the 50 is right here at 2.4491. If we break the 50, that opens the door to the 200. If the 200 breaks, that opens the door to the 60. That is 2.2282. Uh, and if that breaks, then it's almost 100% certainty that we'll head all the way down towards the 100% here. So just keep in mind, if these support levels break, then watch out below. $2, of course, will be targeted first. There will be rallies in between. We'll go down here, up, down, up, and then we'll head all the way down to these lows before turning around. So let's look at copper. So copper tried to rally today. It's probably due to the US dollar depreciating. Um, usually copper has made its major moves in the in the Asian session. So so um, that's when you have seen these major moves of uh, two five to five percent moves to the to the upside. It has not been in the European or in the American sessions. It has been basically in the Asian session. So, so um, that makes probably a lot of sense as well as uh, they are the ones that are producing electronic goods and uh, most of the copper basically is going into electronic goods and and so on. So, um, yes, at this point, we are trading at 3.646. Um, 20 exponential is holding, and the target at this point is uh, these previous highs here of 3.7296. Uh, sorry, and then we'll probably have a pullback at 3.75. So, at this point, a pullback towards 20 is a definitely a buying opportunity. Stop loss underneath and a target of these previous... Uh, the, Highs of 3.75. Technical indicators are turning around. They are becoming bullish. So yes, we are most likely going to see this market go higher. So let's look at gold. So gold had a, a massive day yesterday. And uh, today we pulled back quite a bit. But the good thing here is that we found that the 50 moving average is acting as support and no longer resistant. That is a very, very encouraging sign that we probably will go higher from here. So the reason why we fell back is because of this trend line. So we were getting close to this trend line and uh, we basically need to break this uh, trend line here in order to go significantly higher. 
we have the other major trend line underneath that is this one we did pierce that the other day but we also pierced the other one on the other side so we could go something like this down back towards roughly 1834 and then pull back again up toward 1868 and at this point i think that we are going to see major counting up towards 1900 1900 will be basically breached or will pull back towards this trend line here and then go back towards 1950 and then go higher so these par parabolical moves that we saw here they are most likely over and we are going to see something that is much more gradual grinding to the upside so um, yes technical indicators are turning around they, they are looking fairly bullish at this point some of them not all that doesn't mean that we could fall down this to this uh, level again we could also break out of this area here towards 1900 so we'll see so let's look at uh, silver so very similar here we have rallied above the 20 exponential moving average we're trading at 25.94 at this current stage we are well well on our way to go back towards these highs here up to 27.5 and if we manage to break out of this massive uh, resistant area which is from roughly at the 26 all the way up to 27 28 and then we are going to 30. so keep it in mind we have tried several times in the past here also here and here and we have not managed to get through that area if we manage we'll go all the way to 30 and then base the pullback and then continue so both gold and silver are um, they are i'm bullish in the long run because it, um, this is going to be used as a safe haven um, i just don't believe um, in bitcoin as a safe haven it's just too volatile um, and compared to gold and silver and gold and silver have worked for hundreds of years and why shouldn't it work now either so at this point um, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential and the 50 they are supposed to be they are buying opportunities a break below the 50 opens the door to these previous lows here and the 200 moving average so this is probably as far as this will go that's roughly at the 23 dollars so let's look at platinum so as you can see we have rallied significantly today all the way up to 1138 and then we gave most of those gains back now we're trading at the previous highs here at 1124 and uh, at this point well we are most likely going to go higher if we pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average that is a buying opportunity a stop loss underneath and the target of these previous highs technically indicators are looking very bullish at this point so this is just going to grind higher and higher as long as the 20 and the 50 are acting as support and they are basically the buying opportunities when we basically get close to them so let's look at pallium So as you can see we have tried to rally and gave most of those gains back and the analysis for pallium is just the same over and over again i'd probably just make one video of pallium and just show it every single day because that would be just as good as this one so the bottom of this market here is the 200 moving average and these previous lows here uh, if we get close to this there's some major buying opportunity getting close to these previous highs here at roughly 2.5 as a massive selling opportunity so we're just in this uh, square area here and just trading sideways so we're mostly just going to do the same thing over and over again if we manage to break above this um, 2.5 then we are going significantly higher that basically means that we are going to rally to the upside technical indicators are all over the place macd stochastic are bearish the rsi is flat the cci is bullish so um in my view just stay away from this it is until we get to the top and pull back or the bottom and rally there's no point of entering this market whatsoever so let's look at aluminium so 
So as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average. And uh, yes, now it happened what I was basically afraid of. And that is that the 20 and the 50 moving average are no longer acting as support, they're acting like resistant. So if we don't manage to break above this quite substantially, that means that we are going to see this market fall even further, test these previous lows, and then go all the way to 1900. So, but if we manage to break above these two uh, moving averages, then that means that we are going all the way to these highs and gonna test them. Technical indicators for this are all turning around, so they are becoming very bullish, except for the MACD. So it is a matter of just wait what happens. Break above here, starting trending uh, and closing above the 50 and the 20 exponential. That's a very good sign. Um, a break down from here, that is a catastrophic sign for, for aluminium. So let's look at nickel. So we have rallied up to 18,436 and then gave most of those gains back. So we are on the edge of being overbought. The technical indicators are still bullish, but I have been expecting a pullback towards the 20 exponential for quite some time. And until we do that, I have no interest in basically entering this market whatsoever. Um, we could, this could go sideways until the 20 exponential goes towards 1800. And there you can see this market going higher. Otherwise, just stay away from this. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we have a pullback towards the 20 exponential. I think I, I think I said it yesterday. This is not going to be the last move to the downside. It wasn't. And probably this is not going to be the last move to the downside. We are most likely going to go even lower and than this. If you look at these technical indicators, they are not looking very optimistic. They are basically screaming at this market that you are basically going to go lower. And uh, 0 0.15670, that is probably where a lot of buyers will come in. So uh, pay attention. And if the 20, uh, 20 exponential breaks, then that opens the door to the 50. That's a 0 0.1507. And that, that will be an amazing buying opportunity for, for sugar. So let's look at cotton. So this market just rallies, rallies, and rallies. And they are, at this point, no real pullback. So this is not a real pullback. This is a real pullback. A massive fall, roughly 5 to 6% towards the 20 exponential and then rally. So this is what we're basically waiting for, like this and this and this um, and these moves and so on. This is just trading sideways. So uh, at this current point, we're trading at 0 0.8230 and the technical indicators are very bullish and we're ridiculously overbought. So just wait for this pullback. Um, at this point, due to the fact that we are rallying this much, I would not be surprised if we break the 20 and head towards the 50 or head at least toward the middle between the 20 and the 50 before we continue the rally. So let's look at Gakoa. So yes, yet again, we rallied here, broke down, rallied again, and then broke down. 20 exponential is support at this point, but... Uh, this is not encouraging this. Um, I was hoping for a move to the upside, the 50 being major support, and then just continuing up towards uh, 2.75. But now we're just going back and forward. Top here is at 2.8. The bottom of this market is at 2.2. And we're right in the middle and never, ever trade the middle. 200 moving average, if that breaks, that opens the door to the very lows. Otherwise, moves to the upside have been not very good, not very promising to be very honest. Technical indicators are all turning around. CCI is bearish, RSI is bearish, um, MACD and uh, Stochastic are, are flat at this point. So let's look at wheat. So this is becoming very interesting. We have had three consecutive days of uh, pullbacks in the weed market and it's starting to look similar to this move and this move and this move and also this move here. So this market has been 
behaving a very um, very similar fashion. You can see it all over the place. You have these massive rallies to the upside, pull back to the 20, massive move, pull back to the 20, and then can just continuation. Also down here, pull back, rally, pull back, rally, and just going back and forward all the, all the way. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens when we get towards roughly 650. That's where I think people will start buying. And you're going to, most likely going to see something similar to this. So I'll be waiting here in order to buy into this with a stop loss right underneath. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.